Hello and welcome to today. Today we are going to talk about bounce rates and how you can use um, AI software to reduce the bounce rate specifically. Okay, so for those that don't know, uh, bounce rate is for when somebody comes to your website, lands on a page and bounces straight off. They don't take any action. They don't take, you know, they don't click a button. They don't go to the next page. They don't buy anything. They simply come to your website and then they bounce off. Usually that bounce is within about two to seven seconds. Um, anything longer than that, there's a, obviously another issue, but between two to seven seconds. So now we know that, what we need to do is make sure that we get the highest engagement level between two to seven seconds. So there's a few things that we can do using AI to be able to speed up that process as such. Okay, so in previous videos or videos to come, if you haven't seen it, we talk about website speed. So website speed is the first thing that I look at when we, you know, when I look at Google Analytics and see that there's a high um, bounce rate. And so I'll always go to Google Analytics and see there's a high bounce rate straight away. I will check GT metrics, see what the speed of the site is, because if it's not loading for 15 seconds and you're losing them after seven seconds, you know why. But if you are getting a quick site and they're still bouncing, then there's something wrong within the matching of your customer base in your advert and your website. So just want you to imagine here, okay, DFS. Okay, DFS, if you buy a sofa from DFS in the UK and it's not on a sale, then you've been had is kind of the way that you think. So what I see a lot of people doing is I see an advert going out on social media, on Google and flyers and whatever, saying special offer, buy two, get one free, or special offer, have this for free, or special offer, this, 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 and this. And they click on it and they go to the website, but there's no mention of the special offer. It's just a you know the normal website. And they go, what, what's going on? I, I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm coming back. As an example, you might see everywhere here, take my, take my quiz, take my quiz, take my quiz, take my quiz. And you click on it to go to my website and it doesn't mention my quiz. You'd go, I don't know what to do. So what you need to do with your you know, all your marketing is make sure that there's a constant customer flow and the customer journey is on point. And the second that they land, the second that they land, they have the information that they need to continue on with their journey. So Amazon are great. I always talk about Amazon. Amazon are, you know, the conversion kings and they speak quite a lot with their developers about their bounce rate. I've read papers about this. And they've got some AI software that literally you land, you see the products straight away that you want to purchase. Okay, so it's very easy. You land, ah, that's what I'm after. How did they know that? Well, they know that because one, they listen to you, and two, they spent millions and millions and millions of pounds and millions of hours working out what the human psyche wants. And actually, they have psychologists coming in and talking about the human mind with the marketers to develop that, you know, the, the, the website better. But there's things that we can do, you know, smaller sites that haven't got those kind of budgets. One that I love is heat maps. Okay, so you can install a heat map on your website and you can flick around and see exactly where people are going on your site. So as an example, you go on and everybody is looking at the left hand side. Their thumb is always on the left hand side um, if it's a mobile and things like that. So you go, OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the most important message on the left hand side. I'm going to put the button to buy 
on the left hand side. I'm going to use this kind of font because actually they're reading that statement, that, that statement and that statement in two different fonts. And I'm going to use that one because they're looking at that more. So I'm going to use the same kind of font here. Using heat maps is a really, really good way to understand the data on your site and what people are doing. It's like having a bird's eye view on top of your website, okay, and seeing exactly what people are doing. Now, imagine this in a shop, okay. In a shop, physical Tesco's or you know, something like that, you can see the customer walk in and they'll go to this shelf. They'll have a look, and then they'll go to that shelf, and they'll have a look, and they follow a maze, the customer journey around the shop, and comes back. Now, if you think that that happens 100,000 times a day in Tesco's, Tesco's will now have some AI automation to say, okay, I'll analyze all this data, and I'll tell you where the best place is to put your new product that you want to sell more of. OK, so they say if you stick it there, most people are going to go past it. Most people are going to see it and most people are going to purchase it. So you go, OK, that's my key product. That's what I want to sell more of. So I'm going to put it there. And with heat maps, you can do exactly the same process on your website. Now, the trick is your website needs to have quite a lot of traffic to pick this kind of stuff up. But you can put the heat map on and the AI algorithm will say, okay, we suggest that you make these amendments to your website to get a better conversion rate. And that will you know, sort out your bounce rate quite instantly. Now there's some other tricks that you can make that you know, straight away improve your header image, your hero image. So an image like that, if you go onto my website, you Got an image very much like that right at the top. Big call to action. Make sure they know exactly what it is. Your speed of the website. Make sure you have the right content on there. FAQs. You know, really bring in the customer and make sure they know what they're landing on and give and serve them the information that they need. But in terms of AI, there's thousands of products that you can use to increase that conversion rate. But I'd start with a heat map because a heat map is going to tell you what the customer wants, what the customer is looking for. Once you know what the customer is looking for, then you can take a step back and solve that issue with some AI. Hopefully that's been helpful. So if you need any help, jump onto Christopher Clouds, come speak to me, take my quiz. But for now, I'll see you soon.